Okay, so let's break that down. The first thing I'm doing is I'm coming in on the um, lick right there. So what I'm going to do is uh, slash and all of these kind of cool blues rock artists. What they do, I'm going to start off with this. So I'm starting off with that double note bend, and what I'm doing is I'm bending the third string. Uh, 14th fret with my ring finger. You'll notice I have my other two fingers on that string as well to enable a better controlled bend. Then I've got my pinky on the 15th fret of the second string. Now that, that note is not bending at all. That note's gonna stay stable. It's gonna say stay solid right there. So when I bend it, this one goes up, this one stays the same. And then what I do is I come off of that like this. So I'm just, I'm already up here, so I'm picking the note, I'm doing what's called a reverse bend. Pull off to 12, so I get this guy out of the way, and then back to the 14. Now that note that I'm playing right now on the 14th fret of the third string is A, so it works great over. So it would make sense, so he's doing a bend, um, well I'm doing a bend in the slash style, but I'm doing it over E. A's coming. Okay. Now, a real traditional kind of slash lick, I do this one. And then I come out of it with just a pull off back to my E. So what I'm doing here is again, I'm doing that same bend on the third string, 14th fret with my ring finger. The other two fingers are on there as well to do the bend. Then what I do is I head to the first string, 12th fret. Then I do a pull off from 15 to 12 on the second string. Now to make this functional, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my first finger to bar over these two strings, over the first and second strings. So that's going to make it a little more efficient than having to move it every time when I do my bend. So now my bend is going to be controlled by two fingers instead of three. I'm using my third finger and my middle finger to do that bend. Then I'm going to the 12, and then I'm doing my pull-off from 15 to 12. So it looks like this. Now, in order to get it fast again, you always have to concentrate on what you're doing with your guitar pick. Um, not just what's happening with the left hand, but what's happening with your right hand, of course. So I'm doing this bend, and then I'm going with a down pick to the first string. Now, you'll notice as I do that, I'm lifting my fingers and I'm deadening that third string so I don't get all of this kind of crazy sound. I'm simply lifting, then I head over here. Now, when I go to that first string, I need to deaden out that third finger so it's not ringing out on me. So there's two things that I do. First of all, the, the big secret that I always use, which you've probably seen me do before here, but I use the tip of my first finger and I lightly touch the string above it. So in this case, I'm pressing on the first and second strings, but I'm lightly touching the third string. That way when I let the string go over here with, with my bend, the string touches this, the third string touches my first finger and it stops vibrating. The other thing I like to do is because I'm on the third string and I'm going to the first string, I've got a little space, I'll tend to bring my wrist in as well, and I'll use my, the palm of my hand or my wrist, that section of it, to kind of deaden that string as I move down. See how that kind of comes in? So that comes in and stops that. So I'm really just protecting that string from making way too much noise. Um, the most important thing, and I know I say this all the time, but sometimes it's not what you're playing, it's what you're not playing, and that's what you always have to keep trying to focus on is keeping all of these notes ringing out. So everything's really not overlapping too much. And you're not hearing all of this other noise. You'll notice I'm laying against the top strings as I'm doing all of this. I'm completely controlling those thick strings so there's no chance of them vibrating and, and to start making sound. So I do my down, my down, and then here I do an upstroke on the 15 to the 12 pull off. And then I start all over. Okay, now as I get faster, you can almost kind of hear that third, that third string kind of snapping because I'm getting my fingers out of the way. I'm bending and then I'm getting out of there, so I'm just letting it go. You know, I'm not dropping it back down, I'm just getting it up and then taking off. And then I end with a pull off from 14 to 12, and then the 14 on the fourth string, which is the E. So you have... Okay, so it's a really cool lick. It's kind of hard to develop to get it fast, but that's really what you want to do.